For something to do before those storms hit this weekend, we got plenty of things going on. Heather Baker with AY Magazine is here to tell us some of the exciting things. And of course, I think the big thing, of course, is Opa! It is the 35th <coughs> Annual Greek Food Festival. Right. We got to get in and get a little um, taste of it for media night. So it was Man. great. But they have these. Why didn't donuts? I get to go to this? You can go with me anytime, Pat. Okay. Anytime. Okay. So they had these donuts with this honey on them. They were to die for. But this is going to start tomorrow and it's going to go all the way through Sunday. So when you're planning what you're doing for lunch Friday, definitely you want to head over to the Greek Food Festival. You know, they've given over $1.3 million back mm -hmm. to charity. So that's incredible. $3 to get in or three cans of food. And I know they're going to have that drive through this year as well. My mom told me I have to get her some butter cookies. There's so many, so many uh, opportunities to to get in there, get your Greek food. Either way, drive through, come up. You, you go with the canned goods. You know, the kids are in free, but you don't have to pay for them. But right. sometimes people take their canned goods anyway. That's that's great. And also, I saw the new um, in the chapel. They have this beautiful the new mural. mural. Oh yeah. my goodness, it was fabulous. I got to listen to the pastor talk about how they create it, and it's actually made and all hand done with glass. Mm. So it's cr incredible to look at. All right, so Hayden Nix is going to be there tomorrow morning. Well, maybe he'll get us a peek at that thing yeah. too. Bring some donut holes. All right, so we've got other things going on. How to start your first garden. I yeah. thought this was pretty cool. Only $5, and this is over by Camp Robinson, and it's at the St. Joseph Center for Arkansas. So they're going to teach you literally at this 56,000 square foot building, 63 acres, they're going to go through and show you how to do from A to Z on starting a garden. And so I thought this would be fun for even kids and families, or if you want to take some girls and experience or guys, it'd be fun as well. And you'll get some good tips there for sure. Now, one thing we have going on this weekend is a rescheduled event. Remember all the rain we had? Right, yes. The, uh, the fishing derby. Yes, the Big Catch Fishing Derby, and it is going on on Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1 o'clock. Now, they are going to have 2,000 catchable catfish, and the biggest one ever caught was 38 pounds. Good grief. That's a big one. $15,000 worth of prizes, so you want to get over, get registered. It is free. There is lunch included, and it's 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday, and this is put on by Arkansas Game and Fish. And that was a big fish fry we had that night, too, after <laughs> cut that 38-pound catfish. Fish. For a week, a week. A week, okay, good enough. All right, we got something going on uh, of the Games of Bones. So the pop. Games of Bones. Potty. That's a bark bar. It's going to be so much fun. It's the last episode of Game of Thrones if you're a fan. And this will be going on Saturday. So it's a pre party for your dog and you. You do need to be 21 of age or older to get in. How, how old your dog have to be? It just has to have its shots. Okay. And <laughs> actually, four months or older, they're saying. Four months or older. They're going to have trivia Which prizes and drink specials for you and your doggy. So it's only $7. So you can go to the bark bar. It's so much fun. Downtown, it's a great place just to hang out. And then your dog can roam around and it doesn't have to be leashed. So your dog doesn't have to be 21, just has to be at least four months old. Yes, with all the shot records. Can, can your dog drink? Mm, some water. <laughs> all right, good call, good call. All right, thanks a lot, Heather. That's hey, funny. when we come back, Rance has the answer to today's two Coffee Talk trivia questions.